Shackles on my feet, yeah, they won't let me be. Won't you set me free? Pray this on me. Shackles on my feet, oh, they won't let me be. Won't you set me free? Pray this on me. Pray this all on me. Let me go. Let me go. I've been going through so much, I swear these people let my throat. That's on me, that's on mamas. On my mama, I can't take no more, so miss me with that drama. Get your commas, get your red straight. Get your facts straight. Hold me down, I rise up on her like the tax rate. Keep my past straight, never lack faith. God been working, they gon' have to hold me back, man. And tell them, tell them, tell them. You can pick a side if you wanna. You already know who I bro with. You don't want no problems with me. Shackles, shackles on my feet. feet, yeah, they won't let me be. Won't you set me free? Pray this on me. VIP youth seems like it has been forever since I've been with you guys. It definitely seems like a long time. I don't know about y'all, but it's been too long. So anyway, I am here. Thank you to Pastor Chris for giving me yet another opportunity to come speak to you guys. And it's super exciting that we're in a new year. I don't know about y'all, but I'm glad 2020 is over. Now, here's some things that I will say. There was some challenging days. There was some challenging weeks. There was some challenging months. A whole lot of things happened that we did not expect. Neither did we want to happen. But what I will say is I learned a lot in the year 2020 and it grew me as a person. So while I'm glad that it's over, there are some things that I can say that I'm glad happened because it made me a better person, because it made me a more mature person, and because it grew me up some spiritually. Like I definitely feel more connected to God and I definitely feel more connected to my family. So as a result of all the things that happened, I am better for it. But who's not excited about a new year because I'm sure that all of us are looking for change in some way, some form, some fashion. We're just ready for something new, something different, and certainly looking forward to the day where we can go back to some of the things that we used to do um, instead of, you know, still feeling confined and kind of being stuck at home and not knowing what to expect as far as the, the virus is concerned. So new year, guys, new opportunity, and I, I'm praying that you know, this is just a new season in your life that God does something new. And uh, speaking of new seasons, that kind of segues right into what we're talking about today. Um, just knowing and understanding, like, what is it that you are here for? What is it that God has called or destined you to do? What is your purpose? What are we What are we set here to do? What are we appointed here to do? And I know that's like a really, really um broad question right because people always feel like like what is your purpose what is your purpose and that's kind of a hard question to answer because a lot of times people connect purpose to what should i be doing as far as like profession as far as what do i do on a day-to-day -day basis am i living out my purpose i know a lot of people especially in education will say my purpose is to be a teacher and that's the thing about purposes it's not always you know um it, it doesn't always mean just one thing it doesn't always mean like this is it this is all i'm supposed to do with my life and nothing else because what happens is, is if you think along those lines when you don't i don't want to say when if you don't achieve that one thing then you feel like you've failed at life you feel like you've not accomplished anything and that's not fair to do to yourself and it's not fair to really put that kind of pressure on yourself because our purpose is greater than that and one of the things that i'm appreciating pastor carlos for doing is um taking you know us as a, as a church as a whole through a unique training so if you aren't familiar with it please be sure to um tune into his messages as well 
and follow us on social media so that you can get an idea of what this unique training is about because it's really helping us tap into purpose like what is our purpose and what better way to start really looking into that and diving deeper into that than the start of a new year so keep your eyes and ears open for that and really if you really want to dig in and find out what what it is that you're here for what God has called you to do then you want to be a part of this okay now I don't know if any of you guys I know it's Disney Pixar but it's still a great film. If you've heard of the movie Soul, now I've heard a whole lot of adults talking about it and giving their reviews about it. So you might want to look into that too. It's on Disney Plus, but the movie is Soul. So it's this guy and uh, basically he feels like he is called to do this one thing in life. That is all he's ever wanted to do. And he feels incomplete. He feels like he's not whole. He feels like he's not everything that he thinks in his mind he was supposed to be as an adult and um, as a result he's unhappy he's unfulfilled he's just kind of walking day by day not really um, knowing what what's next in his life nothing satisfies him but like I said it's because he put all of his focus and attention on this one thing now there's some other stories that unfold within the movie and I don't want to tell it all but but the the point of it all is that in, in the end he realizes this is not all that was for him. There's so many little things that happen day to day. There's so many little steps you could take, so many small impacts you could make, so many opportunities to live out your purpose without saying this is all I'm destined to do, and if I don't do it, I'm a failure. That's inaccurate, and I don't want you to feel that way. I used to say years ago, I used to tell Pastor Carlos all the time, find purpose in everything that you do. Like Everything that you do day to day is an opportunity to fulfill purpose. And, and that's the thing, Like, what can I do day to day? What am I doing every single day of my life that's going to create some sort of impact? For others, but even for yourself, because sometimes, in my opinion, your purpose impacts who you are as a person, and it impacts your growth and your your mental um, maturity, your mental space, and so you know it's important to understand that there's something for you out there. Please don't ever feel like everything is just this one thing, and if that's not it, then life is over. Cause that's that's not what it's about but I really want you guys to you know really get tuned into um, the the unique training and check out that movie too because I promise it'll give you some food for thought it'll give you some things to think about because if you think about Jesus life if he was like hey you know my purpose is to be born to die on the cross and then to be you know resurrected so that I could save everybody from sin you know, that's one way to look at it. But think of every small impact that Jesus made during his time on earth. Jesus, he raised people from the dead. He healed the sick. I mean, he made so many miracles happen. He was able to escape every temptation from Satan. He was able to change hearts and change lives. Even for those who were, um, you know, really, really set in in the laws that were you know established in the old testament of things that should or shouldn't happen even he had people change their minds you know the pharisees and the, the sadducees he just completely think about uh paul i know we talked about that some months back but saul was like no nah, we ain't having this jesus character and even he changed his life so if you think about every small impact in his path to purpose on his way to fulfill the ultimate purpose there's something you can do every single day to change lives and to make a difference and to make an impact and to create fulfillment within yourself so i challenge you i dare you to dig deeper to find out what it is that you are supposed to be doing 
as far as your purpose is concerned. So please tune in. Pastor Chris and I will dig more into this um, every week so that you guys, you know, can be on track and you can be a part of this growth and be a part of this process. And hey, if this is all new to you, you're just joining in for the first time, that's great too because it's a new year and it's a new opportunity for you to, to make changes, for you to to recognize and say, hey, I'm, I did not end the year that, the way that I wanted to. 2020 was a mess, but I'm ready to clean it up. I'm ready to do something new. I'm ready to make some changes. This is your opportunity. And, and hey, we're here for you to do it. If you check out the number on the bottom of the screen and just text us and use the word connect, you don't even have to go into a great deal of detail. Just know that we're here for you. We support you and we're going to walk this new path with you. This is a new season for each and every one of us. And we want to be a part of the change because you know when it's a new season, there's change coming. All right. And we want to help you to be a part of the change in this new season, in this new path and new direction of your life so please reach out text connect we got you we'll support you and we'll walk it out with you and hey if you are already somebody who's connected with us and you've been a part of our vip youth community but you've just kind of fallen off gotten disconnected maybe the year has just kind of drawn some space and distance between us this is your time to pull it all back together too we're here for you too don't think just because you shy away a little bit that we're leaving you we're still here walking it out with y'all so please reach out connect hey and you can find me on instagram too if you just want to send me a direct message my um my instagram name is lucy lindy lou okay lucy lindy lou so check me out even if you just put in my name sparkle jones it'll pull it up and you'll find me so if you don't want to text the number you can dm me you can DM Pastor Chris on the VIP Youth page. We will be checking for and looking for y'all and hoping that you reach out because we're here to support you and connect with you. So I'm going to pray for you guys because I know it's a new week of school. Y'all been off for a while. You're probably out of your groove. Not looking forward to going back at all. But hey, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna pray for you guys and I am hoping you have a great week ahead. So let's bow and let's go before God. Most gracious and heavenly God, we just thank you for this day, Lord God. We just thank you for a new year. We thank you that even though we endured many things in 2020, we are grateful that we can say that we're victorious, that we made it through that year. We made it through all those challenges. We made it through all those hurdles and obstacles that we faced in the year 2020. And we are here for the year 2021. We are ready for the new blessings, the new seasons, the new opportunities and that you have laid out for us this year. And we're most certainly ready to walk into our purpose, God. We ask that you would just open our hearts and our minds, that you would allow us to see what it is that you have for us, that you would connect us with the right people, that you would allow us to stay engaged and surrounded by the people who care about our well-being, who care about our spiritual being, or who care about our mental being, Lord God so that they can uh, hold us up on every side when we need it the most, Lord God. I am praying for every person who has made a decision today, Lord God, to get connected to you, to draw closer to your son, Jesus Christ, Lord. Be with them, God, their hearts and their minds, Lord God, because we know that, uh, you know, temptation of sin will come, Lord God, but just allow them to be strong, allow them to exercise self-control, and allow them to stay focused on what the end goal is. We love you and we thank you in advance for an awesome week to come. And we ask that you would just be with us, continue to protect us, watch over us, and keep us safe. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, VIP. I love you guys. I miss you guys so much. I'm hoping that, you know, as the, the year gets going and vaccinations are happening and people are remaining safe, that we can see the world start to open up some more and I can see some of y'all's faces again because I certainly miss each and every one of you guys. So I hope you have a fantastic week of school and um, whatever you're up to, make good decisions and think about your purpose while you're doing it. And until I see you guys again, always remember to love, live, and see you next time. I just wanna praise you. I just wanna praise you. Shackles on my feet, yeah, they won't let me be. 
Won't you set me free? Pray this on me. Shackles on my feet. Oh, they won't let me be. Won't you set me free? Pray this on me. Pray this all on me. Let me go. Let me go. I've been going through so much. I swear these people let my go. That's on me. That's on mamas. On my mama, I can't take no more, so miss me with that drama Get your commas, get your racks straight Get your facts straight Hold me down, I rise up on her like the tax rate Keep my past straight Never lack faith God been working, they gon' have to hold me back, man And tell them, tell them, tell them You can pick a side if you wanna You already know who I bro with You don't want no problems with 